Often players have difficulties to return short balls or to get into an active dominant role as a receiver. In this video you will get to know a reliable and effective 9 step level training system as well as important information to improve the return of short balls in combination with a topspin as an effective transition to dominate and win a rally. During level 1, players have to place at least 6 out of 12 balls into the box with a short push. Balls are alternatingly played short in forehand and backhand by the coach or training partner. Players have to move forward with a single step, touch and push the ball with the appropriate opened racket angle into the box and push back towards the ready position. Pay attention to the right distance of the ready position at the start and the end of each repetition that should not be too close to the table. In level 2, the balls that come again alternatingly short in forehand and backhand have to be flicked on the two cones. Players have at most 12 balls to hit the two targets. Pay special attention to the right grip as well as the wrist and forearm movement during the flick technique. In level 3 players have to pass the first two ball combination that consists of a short forehand push and a backhand topspin. Players start in the ready position, move forwards with a single step, push back into the ready position jump sidewards or sidewards backwards to play the backhand topspin from a position that enables the players to play the ball with much power on the targets. During level 3b the same two ball combination is played but with a forehand flick and a backhand topspin. Because after the flick the ball comes back faster and with a forward rotation of the ball players have to move faster. In addition, the end of the backswing during backhand topspin must be higher compared to the backhand topspin that is played on an arriving ball with backspin. Moreover, the backhand topspin now has to be played with a closer racket angle and a more flat or horizontal inclined plane. In level 4 players have to pass the short backhand long forehand combination. That means that players start from the ready position with a single step into the short backhand side, play a short backhand push into the middle of the table, push back into the ready position, jump sidewards or sidewards backwards into the forehand side to play a powerful forehand topspin with a good weight transfer from the right to the left foot. Pay special attention that players don't fall into the forehand topspin sidewards but are quick enough to stand in the forehand side before the contact point of ball and racket. During level 4b players have to pass the same two ball combination but with a backhand flick and a forehand topspin. Again, by using a flick the time pressure is increased so that footwork into the forehand side has to be faster. The appropriate length of the forehand topspin comes mainly from the punctual and powerful body weight transfer. In level 5 players have to pass a short middle long middle combination. For that Players start with a single step forward to play a short backhand push from the middle of the table, move back into the ready position, open the hip and foot position by a small jump and play a powerful forehand topspin with a good weight transfer from the right to the left foot.
During level 5b the same combination is played with a backhand flick and a forehand topspin. Because of the time pressure, the footwork that consists of a single step, the ready position and a jump to open the hip and foot position has to be explosively performed as well as the following weight transfer to get enough length on the ball to hit the targets. Pay attention that the direction of the weight transfer goes towards the targets on the table and not to the left side. In level 6a and b players have to pass a short forehand and long backhand or middle combination. This is more demanding because anticipation and reaction is required in addition to a decision making process to play the forehand topspin from the middle or the backhand topspin from the backhand side. The footwork consists of a single step forward, the push back to the ready position and then either a jump sidewards backwards to play the backhand topspin or a small jump to open the foot and hip position to play the forehand topspin from the middle of the table. During level 7a and b the players have to pass a short middle, long forehand or backhand combination. Players start with a short backhand push from the middle and have to anticipate and react to play the topspin from the forehand or backhand side. For the final topspin pay attention to the weight transfer in the forehand side and the pointing to the targets at the end of the swing during backhand topspin. In level 8 A and B the players have to pass the short backhand, long forehand or middle combination. It starts with a short backhand push from the backhand side to the middle and a forehand topspin from the forehand side or the middle of the table. In both cases the punctual footwork is important to perform a good weight transfer for the final topspin. During level 9a and b, which is the end level, players have to pass a short long combination that includes a push or flick from the short forehand, middle or backhand side, followed by a topspin from the forehand, middle or backhand side. Now, here are some typical mistakes that can occur during the different stages of this level training system. In this situation, the player doesn't go back into the ready position because his concentration is focused on the ball touch over the table. In the early stages of the motor learning process, this is quite normal, but the next step for this player is to automate his hand movement and shift his concentration also to the foot movement. In this situation, the player pushes from the single step position under the table directly into the backhand side without using the neutral ready position. That's because he knows the regular ball placement. But the coach should insist on this additional footwork movement rather jump because players can move in a better position also in irregular situations. Thanks for watching, have fun during training and please subscribe and ring the bell.